So how does one do exponents? That sounds kind of difficult, isn't it? Hi, I'm Jimmy. I've been teaching college math for nine years, and I'm here to give you a few tips as to some operations involving exponents. Now, once you have these steps, you'll be able to handle these expressions involving exponents a lot easier. So what I'm going to do first is uh, give you a quick example as to how, if you have two things multiplied with each other, how you would treat them. So let's just say you have x squared times x to the fourth. Now one thing when working with exponents is be sure that the bases match, because had this been an x squared times y to the fourth, we wouldn't be able to do anything with them because the bases are different. In order for you to work with exponents, make sure that the, exponent, that the bases are the same. Since they're both x's, we are in business. Now, whenever you have two terms of the same base but different exponents, and you want to combine them, what you do is you simply add the exponents together. So x squared times x to the fourth, you might as well add the exponents so you will get x to the sixth power. Now, when it comes to division, let's just say you have x to the seventh over x to the second. Again, make sure the bases match. If they're different, then you have to leave this expression as it is. Now, if multiplication is associated with addition, then division involves mean subtraction. In other words, this is what happens if you want to combine these exponents. You always subtract the bottom exponent from the top exponent. So as a result, you'll have x to the 7 minus 2. Well, subtraction is pretty easy from there, and you're going to get, as a result, x to the 5th power. Now, last but not least, I want to address as to what happens when you have a power raised to another power. So in other words, if you have x to the third raised to the fourth. Now, if you have two exponents that are literally right next to each other, if you have an x to the power of three that's raised to the four, you simply multiply the two together. So three times four is obviously going to give you 12. And so as a result, you're going to have x to the 12th power. So I'm Jimmy, and these are some operations involving exponents.